From as early as 5 in the afternoon, they began arriving at President's Ground adjacent to the Diplomatic Center. The meeting involving the highest representatives of state corporations, regional bodies and government, many of those invited had to be screened by security officials before they were allowed to enter the compound. The office of the Prime Minister would not give extensive details of the meeting, a statement saying, and I quote, Chairpersons of state boards are scheduled to be instructed as to proper codes of conduct, government policies and procurement systems, as well as other issues relating to the execution of their duties and functions in their respective portfolios. It goes on to say that other items on the agenda would involve the Prime Minister's children's Christmas event for 2010, details of which will be provided to the media at a later date this week. The matter was closed to the media to the extent that members were allowed no further than the road outside President's ground. And while meetings of cabinet and state boards are nothing extraordinary and in fact expected when new boards are appointed, this meeting is on the heels of a controversy involving the newly elected board of Caribbean Airlines. The cabinet has been meeting for the last five weeks on Thursdays following regular cabinet meetings to have the boards appointed.